I started an OnlyFans account over the summer to support myself through school, and things were great until I posted my shopping wish list. Sometimes admirers like to gift their favorite models, so I thought to let them know what I like. Also, a smart move to get the things I want. After dinner, I went for a night jog. I work all day, so I hardly get time to work out. I was running on the empty street. The street lights were the only thing awake in the neighborhood beside me. I stopped under a tree to catch my breath, and I noticed a black RV parked on the other side of the street. I saw a figure in the car and could tell he was looking at me, but I couldn't make out his face because it was dark inside the car. Feeling a bit uneasy, I picked up my speed. When I started to move, the car began to follow me. I sprinted home and locked the door. From the living room window, I watched the van stop in front of my house and the driver's side window slide down. I knew the man driving the car. He was my uncle, a cousin of my dad. Shivers ran down my spine as I watched him drive away after a few seconds of scavenging. I don't think he saw me watch him. The next morning, I went to check the mail. There was an envelope addressed to my OnlyFans name with $100 in it, but no note. I was currently still at home with my parents who had no idea about my OnlyFans account, so I didn't say anything to them. A few weeks later, I met my uncle at my aunt's Thanksgiving dinner. He stood in the corner and eyed me the whole time. It felt so weird the way he watched me in a room full of people. I avoided him like the plague. And then a few seconds later, I didn't see him. So I went to get a soda from the fridge. I opened it and... Hello, Martha. I smiled awkwardly. Hi, Uncle Richie. I started to walk away and he followed me this time. So how's school? Good. Any plans for the holidays? Not yet. I decided to give him one word replies until he left me alone. You know, I must say, for a girl of your age, you look quite mature. Quite big, if you know what I mean. <sighs> I saw my dad at a distance. I got so freaked out by his creepy comments. I yelled, Dad, Uncle Richie is saying something. Come here. Uncle Richie's face turned cold right away. I could see the tension in his eyes now. He gave me a death stare and walked away without caring to talk to my dad. My dad came to me and seeing Uncle Richie leave all of a sudden asked, What happened? Didn't you say Rich had something to say to me? Yeah, I think he went to the washroom, probably feeling sick from all the wine. My dad shrugged his shoulder and went back to the party. For the rest of the night, Uncle Richie didn't even look at me. A few more days went by. One night, it was raining heavily outside. Thunder and lightning kept me up, so I thought I'd post some pictures from my fans. I wore one of my pink swimsuits and posed in front of the mirror. I clicked a few photos and suddenly noticed the reflection of my window on the mirror behind me. My room is on the ground floor, facing the street. I saw the same black car parked outside my window. And this time, the driver's side window was down. My uncle was sitting in the car and watching me with binoculars. I ran to the window and closed the curtains immediately. A loud sound of an engine rumbling with tires screeching. Uncle Richie drove away. That night, I cried myself to sleep. I didn't go online for two days. And then, out of nowhere, I got this text from my uncle. Hey, Martha. Uncle Richie here. Since the day I stumbled onto your OnlyFans, I can't admire how pretty you are. I was thinking if me and some of my friends could join your page. Also, do you have any more friends of yours in OnlyFans? My friends would love to subscribe to them too. Don't be shy. I blocked him everywhere. I don't go to meets where there's a possibility I'd come across Uncle Richie. My parents don't know anything because they will never agree to me having an OnlyFans account. I will slap him if he ever comes near me. The story you just saw is loosely based on this creepy real-life event posted by OnlyFans model Carly Brooks. 
Carly has been doing OnlyFans for a while now. Her followers love her very much and she's happy about it. Until one night, she got a text from her own uncle wanting to be in her OnlyFans. She shared the creepy text her uncle sent her, which went viral. I'm trying my best, but I need a little more time, Gerald. I have given you two weeks already. I can't wait anymore, Zelda. I need the money too. I understand, but- I'm sorry, Zelda. I'll wait till the end of the week for you. That's all I can do. Fine, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Hey girl, what's up? Nothing much, how about you? Whoa, you sound really bad. Is everything all right? I don't know, man. I need $2,000 by the end of this week and I lost my job last month and I don't even have money left for food. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hmm, that's rough. Any idea on how you're gonna get all that money in such a short time? What do you think, Ashley? Okay, okay, no need to be so grumpy. I'm not grumpy. I'm, I'm worried that I might have to sleep on the street next week. That bad, huh? Yeah. Well, can't you ask your parents? No way. When I left home, I promised myself I will never ask for money from my stepdad. That guy is a freak. Um, you do have a way, if you know what I mean. What? Only fans, dude. What are you talking about? You know, I don't do that stuff. Don't be crazy. Oh, come on, Zelda. I've been paying my rent for a year using OnlyFans. It's not as bad as people say. I'm telling you, it's the only way you can get 2,000 bucks in four days. Um, I don't know. Listen, I need to eat something. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, take care. Um, Zelda, if you want, I can lend you some cash too. Thanks, Ashley, but I'm gonna figure this out on my own. You've been a good friend. Fine. Good night. Call me tomorrow. I can't believe I'm doing this. Hi, beautiful. Um, hi. Never seen you before. Yeah, I'm new to this. Why did you pay me? Because it's your first time. Lucky to be your first. Thanks. Is there something bothering you? I'm running a little low on cash, and my landlord has given me final warning. Is this why you joined OnlyFans? You guessed it. Had no other way. Relax. You're doing great for your first time. You're such a nice guy. Can you bring your face closer to the camera? Sure. Wow. You have such unique eyes. Also love your freckles. Thanks again. So this is how OnlyFans works, huh? Girls like you shouldn't be having such a hard life. Well, the world isn't fair, I guess. Can you tie your hair up for me? Why, you don't like my hair? Nice collarbones. Do you have red lipstick? Yeah, I do have red lipstick. Why? Can you put it on for me? I don't feel like putting on lipstick right now. A hundred dollars if you put it on for me. Fine. I'll be right back. Got it. Put it slowly. How about you try a dress for me? Actually, I was ready for bed, so I really don't... Five hundred dollars if you try a dress for me. If you wear a black dress, I'll pay six hundred dollars. You sure have some money to spend, huh? You have no idea. Now go and try the dress for me. Okay, I'm going. No need to yell, dude. Here, do you like it? Love it. Now cry looking at the camera. What? Why? Because I said so. You know what? This is getting quite creepy now. I don't think I want to do this anymore. If you cry for me without faking it, I'll pay you a thousand dollars. But I can't cry just like that. 
$2,000 if you cry right now, or I'm leaving this live stream. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'll try. I need the money. Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I'm adding some of my friends to the live stream. If you fulfill their wishes, you can earn a lot more. I was jogging in the park when I saw Melissa clicking her picture standing under a tree. She noticed me eyeing her out and came to talk to me. Were you secretly watching me? What? No! Liar. But you're cute. I got even more awkward. How about you help me make some content for my fans? We can have dinner later. My eyes sparkled with the thought that I would be able to spend the night with this bombshell of our block. Sure. Sure, Melissa. Anything for you. Melissa's house wasn't too far from my apartment. I reached around 8 in the evening. She opened the door and invited me in. She was looking ravishing in a red dress. I was thinking we could do a couple shoot for my fans. Um, okay. I was screaming inside in happiness knowing where the situation will lead eventually. We went into her bedroom. I'll be back, okay? She went into the bathroom while I sat on her bed, feeling butterflies in my stomach. The bedroom was even more decorated than the living room. Dolls, plushies, posters, and figures were everywhere. She had this photo on her bedstand with a guy. In that photo, Melissa was looking a little younger, but who the hell is this guy? He looks somewhat like her. She sat down next to me and handed me a glass of pomegranate juice. Thanks. That's a nice picture of you. Is that your boyfriend? No, my brother Chad. He died when I was in high school. Oh, uh, sorry. Aren't you a peach? Now, go on, drink it. You must be thirsty. Her beautiful blue eyes hypnotized me. I couldn't say no to her. I chugged the drink in one breath. Ugh. Here, I finished it all. Such a good boy. Melissa took the glass from my hand and went to the kitchen. I was getting excited thinking the night will be one of the best one of my life when my best friend called me. Hey man, what time are you coming? Ah, oh, crap. I totally forgot about the game night. I didn't want Melissa to hear that I had other plans, so I went to her bathroom to receive the call. Closing the door, I started speaking in a low voice. Patrick? Dude, are you there? Yeah, man, right here. Listen, I, I won't be able to make it tonight. Why? Uh, nothing, just busy with something. Wait, are you with a girl? Look, I I've got to go now. Holy smokes, Patty Poo got a girl under his wing. <laughs> Shut up, Jack. Just don't call me again, okay? Okay, okay. But you do have to tell me how padded her all night. Dude, you're sick. I disconnected the call and suddenly noticed this weird smell. The shower curtain behind me hit the bathtub from view, and I was sure the stench was coming from there. Out of curiosity, I moved the curtain. There were shaved hair all over the bathtub, and I was confident those weren't hair from a woman's head. They... they seemed like chest hair to me. What the frack? Then, I noticed the big trunk placed right beside the toilet. I opened the trunk and found women wigs made of various colored hair. Why does Melissa need wigs? I mean, she has such beautiful blonde hair. The more I thought about it, the more confused I started to get. 
Just then, I felt my head getting heavy. Wait, what's... what's happening to me? Patrick? What are you doing in the bathroom? Are you taking a pee-pee? My head started throbbing, and my vision blurred, and I fainted on the floor. I'm feeling What is... I think it's time for you to see how I actually look like. In front of my eyes, Melissa took off her wig. She then wiped all the heavy makeup off her face. Slowly, her bread lines started to show up on her cheek. Oh my god, you're a man? Don't look at me like that, Patrick. Between you and me, no one knows this secret. <laughs> what the hell? Who are... Wait, are you... Yeah, you guessed it right. I'm Chad. Melissa was such a nice girl. She used to run this OnlyFans account, you know? Her fans were her life. And that's why, when she died, all of her fans started messaging her. They were upset why she wasn't coming online. I mean, to them, my sister was a goddess. I couldn't let them down. They literally worshipped her. That's when I decided to live her life. I want to keep her alive in me. And now that her fans want her to have a boyfriend, I'm going to give them what they want. You'll be Melissa's boyfriend, Patrick. I'll keep you here forever, and we will make content for her fans until we die. No! No! Dude, I found this girl on OnlyFans. She posts steamy content with her boyfriend. The duo's crazy, man. They literally do it in live stream. Show me! Show me! 